Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Steele Johnson. If you're new here, which you probably are because this channel only has 50 subscribers, welcome. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Minolta Maxim 3000. This camera right here was actually a wedding gift from my wife. My wife and I got married almost four years ago and as a wedding gift, she got me a film camera that has autofocus. So when we got married, I had this Minolta right here and it didn't have any autofocus and that was one of the most frustrating things for me, which I talked about in a previous video, is the lack of autofocus makes it really tough for me to know and be confident that my shots are in focus when dealing with film. So she got me this Minolta Maxim 3000i and I took it to our honeymoon, took a bunch of photos with it there, and that was the last time I shot with it until now. The only lens I have for this camera is a 28 to 70 f 3.5 constant aperture which is super convenient and it's got autofocus and macro capabilities i was using fuji superior 400 which is what i used in the previous video when we shot with this pepsi camera and i actually shot both these cameras at the same time so there will be some comparison photos throughout this video when using this camera i wanted to utilize it as much as i could in golden hour i feel as though there's this dreamy effect that comes across in golden hour across all photography but especially on film and the film stock i was using in my mind was going to be a cooler film stock because i personally like cooler film stocks and uh you know before using these cameras i had been shooting on color plus and that's pretty golden and to my surprise the images i got from this camera with the fuji superior 400 were very warm, like incredibly warm. The images you're seeing have been touched up to not be as warm and yet they're still incredibly warm. I think the biggest thing I like about this camera besides the autofocus is the haziness that I get. And I don't know if that's the film stock, if that's the camera body, or if that's the lens. I don't know, I haven't tested this enough to figure out why are these shots hazy but I don't hate it. I actually kind of really love it. I think when I first got this camera and used it on our honeymoon in Mexico and then used it in Budapest, I was a little disappointed that a lot of the shots I was getting were hazy. At the time, I wanted crisp, sharp images because I was used to digital photography, but now shooting film for so long, I really welcome the haziness. I really think it adds this layer of complexity yet simplicity to the photos. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Things can't be full of complexity and simplicity at the same time. And to that I say it's art so it's all subjective so technically we're both right. All in all I do want to put more rolls of film through this camera. The simplicity of just being able to zoom in 28 to 70 f 3.5 all the way through and have autofocus is something huge for me. When I shoot on my other Minolta camera, I spend a majority of the time dialing back and forth to get the right focus points and half the time I still miss focus. Having autofocus gives me that little bit of extra security knowing that this shot is most likely going to be in focus and if it's composed well and I like the shot I'm getting, when it gets developed, I'm gonna be happy with the finished product. And to compare it with the beautiful Pepsi camera, Overall, this Pepsi camera is a gimmick camera. It's not meant to be an amazing shooter. I had fun shooting with it, but the comparison images, everything, even though this has a haze to it that this necessarily didn't have, this also has a quality and a sharpness and a depth to it that this just simply couldn't produce. I believe the aperture on this Pepsi camera is F9 all the way through, May, might even be F11, I'm not entirely sure, I knew it was something crazy like that. But having that range of F3.5 just naturally made the photos a little more pleasing to me. Now, are either of these cameras perfect? Absolutely not. This one got some heaters that I loved, and this one overall was a better performer. But they both serve their different purposes, and I would use them for different outings or events or things I just wanted to shoot in my day-to-day -day life. I will absolutely be using both of these cameras again. But overall, I think I just need to try different film stocks. I really wanna put 
a roll of Portra 400 or Portra 800 through this because I did when I went to Budapest and when I was in Mexico. I just feel like I could take a lot better images now than I did four years ago. And I also want to do the same thing through this. I don't think they're going to look super great through this, but it's going to have that nostalgic feel and it's just so fun to shoot with. Like, look at this. That's just so satisfying. You take your shot, you wind the film, slap it down and you're good to go. So overall, this being my first film camera with autofocus, it's one I'm going to keep forever. It was a wedding gift and I love it so much. And it has this dreamy characteristic to it that I've talked about a ton in this video that I love and I'm going to keep this in mind when I'm thinking of shots I want to get with that dreamy haziness to it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit subscribe if you want to see more videos on photography in general. I don't know if I'm only going to be a film shooter on this channel. I think the majority of my photos are starting to lean that direction because that's what I'm having the most fun shooting. But we'll just have to wait and see what kind of direction I take when I move to Nashville here in a couple months. In the comments below, let me know which photos you liked the best from either camera. Both do certain things really well and do other things really poorly. And I feel like that's just the nature of the beast when it comes to photography, especially on the film side of things. So that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know when that'll be or what it'll be, but it will be photography related. So I'll see you next time.